Okay, so this is my Tala series guitar from Amun, A M M O O N, and I'm not plugging it in because I'm not sure how well I did on the soldering job on the electronics. But uh, I strung it, and as you can see here, I had some problems screwing in the neck. Um, so what I did is I picked up some wood glue and I put it down and I put some books on top of it and then I put a book underneath the headstock um, and I hoped that it would, all I was hoping for at that point was that the uh, neck would actually attach, like just finally just I've, I've drilled so many screws into it, just finally, just please just attach. And so the neck did attach. And I don't know if any of you experts can see, but um, the neck is on a slight angle. So if this is the body, the neck is like that, which means the strings have to be going this has, this, this, that has to be what the body is like, parallel lines, but because the neck is not parallel, the strings are not working, and I'll show you how that works. So, that's my low E. Let's get this guitar visible, okay. That's my low E. If I press down on the first fret, that's not a sound, you'd, even if it was plugged in, that would not sound good. But if I go down the neck to where the problem exists, and I, I found this solution by putting toothpicks underneath the bridge and underneath the nut. I'm thinking now maybe I should take the toothpicks out of the nut um, and leave the toothpicks under the bridge. Maybe that would give me something better, but so we have E works, A works, D is just permanently messed, G is messed, B is messed, and I, my high E kind of works, so and it's all, all, all the fretting I can do is down, down at the bottom. So technically I could use power chords on like, let's see how far it goes up. So it's just going to mute A, so. So it's at about the sixth fret that it becomes a problem for the E string. For the D string, I just... Again, it's on the sixth fret. Uh, this is the sixth, and I'm not. I'm not even going to bother trying to bar anything. But so I could. I could do power chords. Go like. And let's see if I make a G shape. I, 
There's, uh, I don't know. This, this is D, and it is pretty tight. I don't, I don't know how to fix that, so. The only thing that D can do is be on the 24th fret. So, um, let's look at this body. Um, there's my uh, patch cable input. My, my volume control, which is, I hope, the lowest, and my tone control. My toggle for the different modalities. And like I said, I want to do the supervised before I plug it in to see if the electronics work. Um, and we've got our headstock here. And on the back of the headstock, you can see I messed up some of the tiny screws. I got better at the screwing. I didn't really have any problems screwing this white pick guard. All the screws went in pretty easy. Uh, the screws for the uh, bridge went in pretty easy. Bridge slash pickup. Um, and I had, you can see other videos on YouTube, I had a heck of a time trying to um, get this altering because I was an absolute beginner uh, and still I am probably. Um, so and the paint is just uh, rust, uh, paint for rusty cars. When your car gets rusty, you, <laughs> I don't know why I bought that. It was a mistake. I was looking for the color and uh, I got this weird kind of like camo color, but anyways, so um, so it's technically not a complete failure. 